Uh, John White here at Periscope. Gonna be talking in a little bit about money. And instead of talking about changing your life with money and allowing money to change your life, we're gonna focus on money changing just your day. So thanks, sit back and join us and we'll st get started here in just a little bit. Let me switch the camera around and then we'll get started. All right guys. Thank you so much for joining us. If you don't know, I am John White. Let me just make sure that you guys can see me everything, okay? Thank you so much for checking us out and spending some time with us. <coughs> Again, I'm John White from jwfinancialcoaching.com. And today we're going to talk about instead of focusing on changing your financial life, let's instead focus on changing your financial day. And we'll start here in just a little bit. We'll wait for the people in the live audience to join us. If you have any questions or anything else you want to talk about money, please leave a mention here in the chat, and I'll try to answer any questions that you do have while we're waiting to hear to start. If you're watching the replay of this, feel free to share this on Periscope. You can do that simply by, if you're on the iOS device, swipe to the right and go ahead and share us that way. Or if you're on the Apple or excuse me, the Android, just swipe up and you hit the share broadcast button. You can do that either sharing on Twitter or on Periscope. I do appreciate all of you guys taking time and sharing this with you. That helps us me get notif notified and get more followers and encourages me to do more of these. But today we're talking again about changing your financial day, not just your financial life. And if you join me for last week's scope session, you know that my family and I were both vacationing in beautiful Myrtle Beach last week had a great time had a blast and last Saturday we were driving home from the beach to Columbus Ohio to where we live nice 10 hour drive with stops is almost 13 hours so I had a lot of time in the car a lot of time to think to myself so I, I was listening to an audiobook from Adam Grant called give and take really good book I'll, I'll have to do a review of it soon but there's a good chapter on change in that book that really spoke to me, and I have, I'm adapting that chapter and that quote and applying it to our finances. So thank you so much for joining us today. And if you look in our culture today, we are obsessed, uh, and that, that's a strong word, but I really feel that we are obsessed with changing our life. And it's in many areas. It's not just with money. It's with our career, changing our relationships, changing our spirituality, changing things in our marriage, changing our physical well-being, uh, other things as well. To change that, change our lifestyle, make us feel happier, more more excited, and, and be able to accomplish what we want to do. And I talk a lot about on the podcast, on the blog, on Periscope here today, about changing our life with money. And I talk about and, and share with you the the freedom of being debt free. I'm not having any owing anything to anybody. Get, getting your credit cards paid off, your student loans, car payments, eventually your house too, and the freedom that um, allows you and, and just allows you to you up to do other great things with money. We talk about the power of having savings and how that having money in the bank and not just living paycheck to paycheck. There's a real power in that and and. and, and an encouragement that allows you to do other things well in your life because you know if you, hey, I can master my money, I can start to save, I can do anything as well. And then the knowledge that you have as an investor and having a great nest egg and all of those things, that, that's what the power of changing your life with your money means. And those, those are, like I said, life-changing things. Those aren't something that's done in a day. But sometimes for us it can be a little overwhelming, right? We talk about being out of debt and you're like, John, do you realize how much debt I have? I have over a hundred thousand dollars in student loan debt, or we want want to save money and, and retire comfortably, and realize that's a lot of money. You do, you run the numbers of how much money you need to save, and it can be overwhelming when we're talking about life changes and financially. So what happens instead? We unfortunately never do them, and we just sit back and be like, man, I wish I could change, but I just don't have the time, money, or ability to do it. Well, there's a great quote in this book by Adam Grant called Give and Take, and it talks about instead of trying to change your life. Instead, try to focus on changing your day. But what does that look like for money? When, when, I, when, I, when I applied it and I heard that quote, I was like, ooh, that's a good one. I actually had to, I had to, I'm driving my car and I, I got my smartphone out and I actually started to record that quote because so I, I didn't want to forget it. But what does that look like for our money? What does changing how we view our money from a lifestyle thing, how do we look at that and change it to our day? How do we look at, hey, I want to change our daily actions? 
And what can we do then to look at our daily spending? Is there some habit that we have that we spend money on pretty much daily or, or most every day that if you look at it, you know, sit back and you realize, hey, I don't enjoy this thing that I'm spending my money on. Why am I doing that? It's really a waste of money. What, what daily action are you doing that with money? What weekly thing are you doing with money? What, what about your groceries? What about your eating out that you do on a weekly basis? Is there something that you're doing that, you know what, I really don't need to buy this or that or this weekly spending habit? What about your monthly habit? What, what's one monthly habit that we can change? Is it how much you are saving this month? Can you look at it and say, wow, you know what, I'm not saving enough money either in a savings account or in my retirement account or whatnot. Well, I'm not saving enough money. Or maybe it's, hey, I really need, this month, I need to focus on paying $250 on my debt instead of the $100 that I've been doing. Uh, what are the small daily things, weekly things, and monthly things that we can do with money that can change our life? And, and the thing is, when we do these daily changes, when, when you make that change to say, hey, I'm not going to eat out for lunch every day, I'm going to pack. Or I'm going to look at my entertainment budget or my grocery budget and realize, hey, you know what? I spend way too much on groceries and the majority of that is junk food. <laughs> I can spend, say, $25, $30 a week just by eliminating junk food and instead of buying healthier food, which is a double thing. It saves me money and it makes me more productive and have more energy and, and just enjoy my life more. Or maybe, what is it that monthly thing when we, when we say, hey, I'm going to make a priority to budget my money each month and put 200 extra dollars into my retirement account this month or I'm going to pay extra on my debt this month. When we start to make those changes on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis, those you know what those lifestyle changes start to build up, and it becomes habit forming. And before you know it, those days, like I said, become weeks, and those weeks become months, and those months become years, and those years become decades. And you know what? Before before you know it, you realize you've been doing this thing ten for ten years now. And you're starting to see some of those lifestyle changes. So you're able now to become debt-free. And you're, you're put debt behind you. And you're able to pay it off. And you're able to start to invest more and save more. You're starting to give more. And not just give eh, maybe $20, $25 a month, but significant giving to causes that you have a passion for. Who, who likes that? If you're, if you're on live chat here, heart it up if you like to give money. Or if you want to save more. Or if you want to get out debt. That's something you want to do, let us know. It's really cool. It's a really cool thing to do. And so, so that's just a challenge to, just, that I've been having, and it's a challenge to you, everyone else here today, to look at, when we're looking at things that we want to do with money, we, sit, we start with this big goal in mind, right? We have this huge goal of like, hey, <clears throat> I want to become a millionaire. I want to be financially independent. And we, and we sit down and look at it and we're like, I, we can't, I can't do that. That seems so overwhelming. It's like this huge mountain. It's like the old saying, how do you eat an elephant? And it's one bite at a time. So instead of trying to change your life all at once, start with today. Start with tomorrow. What can, what can you do tomorrow? What can you do this weekend? What can you do this week that will change your finances? And, and it might, it's going to be small at first, and you're not going to see a huge gain. You're not going to like be like, oh, wow. That, that was life-changing. But if you keep doing that and learning and Making these changes into a daily ritual, you will um, start to experience life-changing and life-altering changes with our money. And that's pretty cool. And watch those days like that turn into years and those years into a whole lifetime. We well, hope you enjoyed the scope. And if you're live or on the replay, please heart it up. Feel free to share it with your friends, share on Twitter, share on Periscope, your Periscope followers. And just share the word. Love to hear feedback from you guys on that. We'll be back soon with another Periscope. If you enjoy this and you want to be notified and when I go live, I try to do these at least once a week, trying to do more of them, not just about money, but just about sports, life, and other things that I find uh, useful in life. Follow me at JWFIN Coaching on Periscope. Search for me there. If you have any topics you'd love for me to cover, I really do enjoy this. love talking about money and want to help you uh, focus on improving your economy. Which, which is our motto here at JW Financial Coaching. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, JWFIN Coaching. Let me know what you'd like me to talk about, and I'll try to work it into an upcoming scope. That's all we have for today. Thanks again for joining us. Take care. I'm John White. Bye-bye.